The fourth labor of Hercules was to bring the wild boar of Erymanthus back to the castle alive. This time, Eurystheus was sure that Hercules would get killed while trying to capture the boar. Task 4. Erymanthian Boar This one was called the Erymanthian Boar because it lived on a mountain called Erymanthus. This pig was huge, wild, and with a bad temper and tusks growing out of its mouth. Every day, the boar would come crashing down from his lair on the mountain, attacking men and children. It wasn't too hard for Hercules to find the boar. He could hear the beast snorting and stomping as it rooted around for something to eat. Hercules chased the boar round and round the mountain, shouting as loud as he could. The boar, frightened and out of breath, hid in a thicket. Hercules poked his spear into the thicket and drove the exhausted animal into a deep patch of snow. He chased the boar through the snowfield where it collapsed from exhaustion. He trapped it with a net, then bound its feet and propped it over his shoulder to carry back to Mycenae. King Eurystheus had not expected Hercules to complete the labor and was completely terrified when he saw the live boar snorting and squealing wildly. He quickly fled and hid in a half-buried bronze pythos, which was akin to a giant storage jar. He demanded that Hercules get rid of the boar before he dared to step out, disgruntled. Hercules left the palace and took the boar with him. He couldn't understand why the king would set the task of bringing back the boar alive if he was afraid of it. King Eurystheus was ashamed now. Everyone had seen him hiding when Hercules brought the Eromanthian boar into the palace. He somehow had to get rid of Hercules now. He finally came up with the next task for Hercules and it was to kill the Stymphalian birds. The Stymphalian birds were just plain nasty. The people in the area spent their days and nights hiding from these scary birds. The Stymphalian birds had pointed beaks and ripping claws, and their feathers were made of razor-sharp bronze. They were the stuff of nightmares. Task 5. Stymphalian Birds Arriving at the lake, which was deep in the woods, Hercules had no idea how to drive the huge gathering of birds away. Goddess Athena appeared before him and gave him a pair of bronze crotala. This was noise-making clappers, similar to castanets. These were no ordinary castanets. This was created by Hephaestus, the god of blacksmiths. The castanets created tremendous sounds that would scare every living thing in the vicinity. Hercules thanked Athena and Hephaestus for their gift and started climbing a hill nearby. Once he reached the top, he began to furiously shake the rattle. The loud noise startled the birds and they flew out of the marsh into the open air. Hercules began to shoot as many as he could with his poisonous arrows. When the last bird fell, the people hiding inside their huts and homes rushed outside and cheered. Hercules retrieved the birds he'd slain to bring back to King Eurystheus to prove that he had successfully completed his labor. And once again, Eurystheus was not happy.